guess where I'm going? Back to Guyana, people. Check it out. Georgetown, Guyana for an extended long weekend. It is just a beautiful, beautiful day outside. As you can see, it's set up a little bit cloudy for the rain to come down, but nevertheless, it's still gorgeous and um, it just cools the place down even more. But so far, it's been pretty breezy and nice. I'm looking around and the palm trees are just kind of swaying in the wind. And um, yes, I'm back in Guyana. I'm so excited. It's actually my dad's birthday, so I just came to spend a couple of days with him and uh you know just keep him company for a little bit so i'm gonna cook some birthday food for him maybe bake him a cake deciding and um see where the couple of days takes us hope you enjoy this vlog if you're new to my channel thank you for joining please like share and subscribe and if you watch my channel i, I met i met some people at the airport when i landed it was so interesting they actually told me that they knew alexander village girl and it's so interesting to actually be recognized and um so thank you so much you know i really appreciate that support and uh don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and I just want to say hello to my subscribers that are in Canada and Curacao and Trinidad that have been, you know, reaching out in the comments. So I really want to say thank you for that. But yeah, I'm back in beautiful Guyana and I hope that you can uh, enjoy this vlog that I'm doing for you uh, these next couple of days. So the last time I was here, there were so many COVID restrictions about a month and a half ago. What a difference today makes pool in back of me is open there were people swimming in it earlier the hot tubs open full breakfast is available here at the hotel no mask mandates anywhere although when I'm out in tight spaces I definitely continue to wear my mask and I recommend that you do that but totally your choice but it's just a gorgeous gorgeous day and you know I hope you enjoy this vlog again like share and subscribe and thank you again for watching this is what it looks like at the JetBlue Terminal. Super busy. And we're at gate 15, heading to Georgetown, Guyana. Hey there, so I'm on my flight, heading to Georgetown, Guyana, and super packed flight. Everybody's super excited. I'm hanging out in the back of the plane. <laughs> anyway, so hope to get there soon and love these guys. They're going to treat me extra special, they said. <laughs> All right, take care and until we land, I will um, connect with you again. so excited so excited can't wait to uh, get off this plane and go enjoy some yummy Guyanese food so we're heading off the plane and I was sitting in row 13 and I got bumped all the way to 34 apparently there was some balance issue with 
everybody's weight, and so that's the way it had to get done. Same Nine. Good night. So I'm off the plane and on the jetway, heading to go, I guess, through immigration customs. Definitely hot, still have my uh, jacket on, my scarf, but you can definitely feel the heat. And it feels really good, guy needs heat always feels better. health form because apparently they didn't have enough left inside of sorry guys they didn't have enough left inside on the side of the plane but look how cool it is it's all lined with Guyana flags so make sure you know you're in the right country Okay, so definitely going to be a long night, that's for sure, and uh, I made it to the back of the line. It's a first, but it's perfectly fine. Hopefully they'll go quick. How would it feel here? We're here at KFC drive through We just ordered yeah. fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and on a box, and nine piece chicken. With a nine piece chicken. She literally doesn't remember our order. Oh, we're the only ones here. Forty-one hundred dollars for a nine piece chicken. Yeah, like 20 bucks for a nine piece chicken, three biscuits, and a mashed potato. You thought it was 63, how much? I don't know, because she said 62, she 83. Said 20. Yeah. yeah. She only was giving us the biscuits. And <laughs> <laughs> Could I please have some of your croissant? My croissant? Yes. May we? Oui. You may have my croissant. How is it? Yes. How is it? Good. It's bon appetit. <laughs> Hanging out in the lounge, sitting with my little nephew and daughter, Santa, playing some, what are we playing, Shani? Checkers. Checkers, isn't it the best? And who's winning? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's his birthday today here in Alexander Village. So I'm just cooking some uh, curry. What are we cooking? Mutton? Is lamb curry and lamb fried curry fish. Lamb curry and some fried fish. So he's pressuring the uh, mutton and I'm gonna just chop up some ingredients. In the meanwhile, I don't have all the uh, best knives here, but it'll do. <laughs> okay, pause it for a second. Okay. What are we frying the fish in? Oh. 
You're recording? I'm actually um, making some uh, mutton curry fried snapper for my dad. It's his birthday today, so we're helping him cook. We're helping him cook and um, trying our hand in his kitchen. <laughs> So I have scallions. I love these guys in the scallions. Only two peppers because he doesn't need a lot of pepper. He used to, not anymore. Some onions, garlic, I'm chopping up. And I have my curry ingredients here, jeeva, masala, turmeric, curry powder. I'm not grinding anything up. He doesn't really have uh, instruments for me to use. And I could pound it, but he doesn't have a mortar and pestle, so that's it. And I just added a little bit of salt to the curry powder. I'm gonna add some water to it, and then we're gonna bunje wikari. Take it to the hills, like. Look at that. It's here. So it's all the pressure that you put on the meat, and um, you're out there. So that's my uh, snapper seasoned with some ground dried up seasoning and dry seasoning, curry powder, turmeric. I have some, uh, I have my curry paste. I added, I sneaked in some pepper actually. And the mutton is getting pressured. My karate is gonna start heating up. But in the meanwhile, I wanna get some fresh air. It's so freaking hot right now. Um, that's a mango tree. My dad used to have a huge mango tree in his yard, but he got rid of it because. Dad, can you light the karate for me? Light the karate and take off the pressure. So. There's a, hi guys, hi. They're fixing motorcycles over there. And this is Second Street. I don't know if you can get a view of all these houses back here, but. You're, uh, huh? You're, you're, uh, uh, Kyra's daughter? Kyra's daughter? Uh, nope, I'm Teach's daughter. <laughs> Kyra's granddaughter. This is my daughter. Jody's sister. This is my daughter. That's your daughter. You know Jody? That's my aunt. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. brother Martin. Where's Martin and Jody? Oh, Uncle Leonard? Yeah, yeah. Marshall? Yeah. yeah. Who's talking to you? I'm talking to you, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you look like Uncle Leonard. I yeah. knew um, Uncle John. Uncle John? Yeah. John. I know. He used to be over by the baker shop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uncle Leonard was so nice to us. I'm a nice person too. You seem like. I met another one of your brothers, actually. What? In the, I think he lives in Bronx. the, huh? In the Bronx? In the, yeah, what's his name? Uh, Bobo. Vivian. Huh? What's his name? Baba? I grew up here, you know. Baba? Uh, see. Maybe. Right, teach. I see James Winnie Rich Day. Uh, you grew up here? Yes, I grew up here. Yeah, in the second street. He mother grew up in second street. Too. Okay, okay, nice. Yes, Marshall. James went there Sunday. Huh? See that? That new place that's building over the road. So my dad's Marshall catching up. Okay, so hopefully my oil is hot. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> Just cook it on. Can you leave that? What? No, 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 I don't want no leaf in the curry. I'm just putting some, um, about four cloves and a cinnamon stick. Let that cook. All right, so I think our stove, ooh, nice and hot, right? Good, perfect. Let me throw our onions in. Some scallions fell in, but that's perfectly fine. Let that cook down. I'm gonna get some salt to add to it. And this way you don't have to add too much salt to the curry. All right, so how's it done? Good, right? Where's the salt going down? Open 
God, I was like, which big man is coming up the steps? Yeah, just keep filming everything. Hi, little boy. I'm making some curry for you. Mm. You want to smell? So I'm going to put the curry into the pot and you want to smell it. Tell me if it smells good, okay? What are you going to do with all this? Water. Oh my God, the slammer this is so funny. This whole pot is moving. I got it. Put it in my face, and then I'm gonna put it in my face. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got roti from Dal Puri from Weir Hawks. Check this out. Okay, I'm gonna get this one. How's it look like? Good. It had a smell, but even more. Smell all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because when you're cooking, you can't smell your own food. No, it smells good. I know, but I can't smell it's it. It's like going into all my pores. <laughs> <laughs> all right, baby. Let it just steam down a little. I'm going to add. My dad already pressured this uh, lamb a little bit, so I'm just going to add it right directly from the pressure and let the rest, let it cook out the rest of the way with the curry. I think it still has a while to go, but I'll let it finish cooking down. So I'm just going to add all of this from the pressure right into here. And then I'm going to give it a stir and let it cook down. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, so my fish is frying. That's a nice snapper. And season it up and lightly dust it with some oil. And let's see what my some nice lamb curry. I baked an almond cake with almond flour. I brought everything from uh, the States with me. And Dad had a couple of the other ingredients. How does it feel to be 79 years old? How does it feel? Okay, okay. Or you feel old? No, I feel all right, man. Feel all right. Yeah. Mm hmm Improvising here. This is your birthday cake. It's an almond cake that I made. So blow your candle out and hope for a wish. Yay! Yay! Happy birthday! <laughs> okay, try it. What do you think? It's good. It's good. It's not sweet, right? Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I thought we were taking a taxi. Shani, why are you so used to taking taxis? You gotta walk here when you're in Guyana. There's, there's a big truck coming through. No, I think it's going to be there. Here on 2nd Street, Alexander Village. Thought I wouldn't be back for a while, but it's less than a month and a half and I'm back. Sign up straight to the left. Gives a new meaning to walk a car now. Pick up your toy. Look at that rock star. Salam alaikum, brother. What's up, rock star? Where's your dad? Oh, okay. We came to say hi. Okay. How's everything good? Good. How are you? Good to see you. I just went home, Jim. Oh, you did? Today's dad's birthday, so I know. we went I know. to uh, hang out. Alam, come now. We going. That was it. Was there, was there? Mm -hmm. Hey, Brianna. Sierra girl. Hi, guys. Brother-in-law. Hi, girl. Hello. Hi, honey. How are you? Good. Welcome to the it's going on now. <laughs> you look normal. Yeah, That's yeah, why I was like, now, Hi, Brianna. Hello. How are you? Do I get a hug? You look so cute. I missed you the last time. You went to Suriname. Did you like Suriname? Are you coming to New York to see me on Friday next week? Yeah? Okay. Go to the video and writing time. Thank you. Don't get me with a tissue in my door. I'm not getting you with it at all. 
Hi, Brianna. Actually, Santa. Brianna, what's up? You coming to New York? You gonna come stay by me?